Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I've taped off my background and I'm just laying in, in my background. I wanted it to be kind of a, a vertical stripe and kind of like that old school, like kitcheny feel. I don't know, that's what I was going for. I used a cobalt turquoise from Liquitex and I mixed it with titanium white to get that. And here you see me, I like to, I pulled the tape off. This is kind of how it turned out. So at this point, what I'm doing is I'm laying in lots and lots of layers. And I used burnt umber and raw umber for these. And this is my first attempt at glazing, so be kind, I guess. But what I'm doing is I'm looking at the picture. I'm referencing that an awful lot. This took a long time to really lay in the colors. Because what I wanted to do was a two-tone effect and then go in and layer it with additional colors of yellow, orange, a little bit of red, white things of that nature. So I really wanted to make sure I had the shadows just right, everything kind of laying where I thought it should be, and just get the highlights in there where I thought they should be, make the orange look more spherical, you know, all that usual stuff. So I'm adding in background detail now. I wanted to make it look like wood. This was kind of my first attempt at doing something like this. So I thought it turned out okay. And then I'm trying to make it look like it's laying on a shelf or a board of some sort. I kind of wish I had made the, the that space a little bigger down towards the bottom. You can't really see it, but where I'm essentially making it a shelf. But So now I'm just laying in a lot of details, which honestly are going to get covered up layer, later when I go into glazing. And I just wanted to put in enough highlights and lowlights so that it really kind of brought it out, made it look like wood grain. I am now in the process of going back through and just getting those teeny tiny little details on the actual orange itself. Now I'm beginning the glazing process. I am using Burnt Sienna from Golden and on the wood. So that's the first thing I'm laying in. I'm going back in with some, like, I think this is buff titanium or unbleached titanium and trying to add some additional highlights. I just really wasn't happy with the way it was looking at that point in time, you know. That's the beautiful thing about art is it's all about experimentation and kind of figuring out what you're happy with with it. So I really, really enjoyed doing this painting and I'm just adding some additional layers now and lots and lots and lots of layers. <laughs> So what I decided to try was to take one of my acrylic markers to really add the detail of the wood grain in because I was kind of having trouble with that with the paintbrush and then I took the paintbrush and I added in little highlights and with my little striping brush and I really liked how that turned out. Now I'm going back through and I'm actually glazing with two different colors. A slightly darker shade of I think burnt sienna in the back and then I lightened it a little bit more for the front to try and give it a gradation across it. I don't know if that worked but you know it was worth a shot. So. so now I'm beginning to glaze the actual oranges themselves a little bit. This takes a little bit of time. I did lots and lots of layers. I bet I did somewhere between 20 and 40 layers for these. I think this first one I did on the actual interior of the orange was a... I want to say a cadmium medium orange and then I did the out, out outer per portions of the orange but as you can see I really like this technique of glazing because that under layer of painting it really helps to add a lot of depth to it and just gives it a lot of life I feel like I, I really enjoyed this this was like I said my first attempt at doing this and I, I was pretty happy with how it turned out and you'll see me coming and going a lot because I'm giving it time because the glazing in between absolutely needs to dry because if not you'll end up with problems. I'm glazing here I think with the the medium yellow orange or cadmium orange again. At one point I'll do a medium cadmium orange or light, yellow, light cadmium orange. I forget which one. One of the two. Maybe both. Now I'm going back in and just adding some details because I feel like I've lost some of those after a few layers and I really wanted to add in that highlight and then I realized oops I highlighted too much and I wanted to add in some shadow again because I felt like I'd lost some of that. So I'm just trying to figure out where the pieces are of my orange basically and then I'm going back. I'm glazing once again adding in lots and lots of fine details with the glazing like I even 
glazed separately the interior little slices of the orange. I'm not sure if you can tell that or not, but I really like how that turned out. I'm adding in a couple of highlights again because uh, I feel like I've lost things and glazing again lots and lots of glazing going on and I use my finger when I paint which is probably bad I don't know I just find that my finger helps sometimes <laughs> so anyhow and like that center of the orange I've gone back in a few times glazed gone back in and highlighted again so now I'm going in with like a white glaze almost and I really wanted to pick up that highlight naturally I don't know if you can see that in the oranges and the interior of the oranges that itself is actual white paint I'm going over again because like I said I felt like I kind of lost some of that now I'm back through with some orange I'm glazing with a little yellow now and I just kind of go back and forth between these I added a little red even to the outside of the oranges and then I'm going back through with yeah I'm using a little red on the interior and you'll see me go back through and glaze once again with yellow orange and then I think yellow again I don't I don't remember the exact order but like I said I did a whole lot of layering on this and then like I said I you know I was trying to hit where I thought there were highlights the way the light was hitting it so not sure if I did a good job of that or not but I thought I did pretty good for my first attempt at glazing really happy with how this turned out I hope you all enjoyed this speed painting of mine and me talking over it I didn't want to add music I wanted to do something a little different I'm just doing the last few layers now um, I'm not sure if you can really see but I really love this painting it has a lot of depth and the glazing really just adds to it I, I enjoyed that quite a bit I think it's something I will continue to do so please do me a huge favor and uh, like this video subscribe you know leave some comments below I like love to talk to people and get back to them and yeah like I said just kinda let me know so I'll talk to you later bye